As a young boy, Sri was introduced to many cultures and countries. Perhaps that is what sparked his interest in journalism at the age of 15. His diversified background has given him a better understanding of culture worldwide, teaching him the importance of attention to detail when presenting the story. I was exposed to things that I might not have been otherwise. I got interested in journalism very early. I got my first byline in, in the Fiji Sun when I was 15 years old. And uh, I was hooked on that, and I said, this is what I want to do. My parents, I think, started weeping at that moment and didn't stop until very recently. But also, living in these different countries has made me more tolerant and has, has really expanded my horizons. On the downside, I became very bad at, uh, at, at some portions of my academics, in the sense that because I just changed school systems and would go from one kind of system into another, uh, learning to work with different teachers. I was always the new kid in school, and uh, it's tough. And not just a new kid in a new school, new kid in a new country. How has this diverse experience affected your personality, feelings, and your education? My maths was just poor, rotten, and uh, I don't know how much of that I can really blame on, on the school systems and, and having to study in different things, but I like to blame that. Uh, also, uh, I got to learn new languages, and I used to come home in Moscow uh, speaking fluent Russian, as, as I did, and I would come home and say, Lenin is God, and all the things that good little Russian kids were taught, or Soviet kids in those days. And I would uh, really think that I was Russian, and, and, uh, and be familiar with all the things. And we used to have a sleepover. You had to sleep in school every afternoon. They'd feed you cabbage soup and black bread every day and you'd have to take a nap. It was mandatory. I mean, that's a great thing about communism is they can tell you what you have to do, and so you'd have to sleep. And a kid, it doesn't necessarily, you know, at the age of six, want to, want to sleep, but wants to run around and do things. And that was all part of the mandated system that you had in, in the Soviet Union. So those are the different things I learned. I also lived in Burma for a while. And uh, living in these places uh, changed, changed me and really makes me what I am today. How would you compare today's generation of journalists with their predecessors? I think pro journalism in America has become more professional. The, just the quality of the journalists, the kind of people going into journalism, has improved. The, the selection process is much more rigorous. I always say I wouldn't have gotten into Columbia's journalism school if I had applied this year, it's just because the standards have gotten better. But as a result of more journalists being out there, the kind of stories that they're doing, the kind of investigations they're doing, has become better and that's good for, if it's good for the media, it's good for the people. And so that kind of change I have seen. And I just think that the, the biggest change really is in the attitude that journalism is an acceptable profession both in India and here and that parents are willing to let their kids become journalists. Sri, has your professional life changed after marriage? Well, marriage obviously changes you in many ways. I uh, was able to, in the old days, I just answer to no one but myself and marriage forces you to accommodate another person in your life not just the person you see occasionally but a person who is there when you wake up and when you when you make all your decisions and I must say it's been a great experience it's only been a year so far but I've one of the things that I found that my married friends used to do before that was very irritating was try to get everybody else married and uh, now I find myself doing that because I, rec I highly recommend it to, to everyone. Uh, but what, is, or what I've also discovered is because Rupa is so, uh, so uh, supportive and allows me to do what I want to do, that I've become more efficient in what, in, as I do my things. I was telling her recently, you know, it's been a year since we married, so we had a chance to look back at the year, that I felt I did more things in this year uh, after I got married than I did before because before, I, you know, you didn't have to be home at a certain hour, so you could just keep working and wasting your time. Now I, I know I want to be back by 7 o'clock so that I can be with uh, Rupa and, and spend time with her. And so that allows me to condense or forces me to condense my work, but I become more efficient at it. And she's allowed me to do things that I may not have been able to do before because I now have someone to bounce ideas off. And, and, and she inspires me to do the things that I'm able to do. She. Um, when people say, you know, I've done a lot of stuff, I say that's nothing compared to what she's done. She's got a management degree, she's an MBA, she's a Rhodes Scholar, and she's one of India's top women athletes, one of the Asia's top women athletes. For one person to be able to do that 
is much more tough than what do I do? I tell people stories and I get people together. That's nothing. Uh, to be uh, competing in business is so much harder. And also I tell her that she's the one who has to make all the money in the family because I'm just a poor journalist.